Welcome back to Dabbler in a Box Season 2. Our second episode is a love letter to the city that the beer dabbler has always called home since our very first winter carnival, St. Paul, Minnesota. This episode features three lagers, an Italian-style Pilsner from Blackstack, a Munich Hellas from Bad Weather Brewing Company, and a good old-fashioned American-style Pilsner from our friends at Clutch. While our capital city is known for its rich history, our first brewery featured in this episode is anything but old-fashioned. With boundary-pushing recipes and pop culture-influenced beer names, Blackstack Brewing Company is truly on the cutting edge. This is the story of their Fugazi, Italian-style Pilsner. Welcome everybody, Dabbler in a Box Season 2. My name is Murphy Johnson. I'm a co-founder, brewer, and creative director of Blackstack Brewing here in the beautiful Midway neighborhood of St. Paul. Blackstack being family run, is, I always like to say it's uh, living the dream, but dreams, is, nightmares are also dreams. <laughs> my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister all work here. Living in Chicago after going to school in Madison, and I got a call from my dad saying, we're gonna start a brewery. If you wanna do it, you should move back. So I got out of my lease in like two weeks, I was like, bye guys, and came back. That was five and a half years ago. We were brewing in the garage for a year, year and a half. Spent a lot of time looking for space. This was probably like the 20th or 25th spot we looked at. And we looked at several others after this and then ended up coming back to it because it had the best bones to expand into. Main thrust of what we do here is New England style IPAs. Uh, it's definitely what we built our, our house on, if you will. Um, we also love fruity, 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 extremely fruity sours, and crispy boys. So Fugazi is a Italian style Pilsner. Um, we're having a little fun with the name. Fugazi, like slang term for a fake or a phony. So joke being that this is an American interpretation of one specific kind of beer in Italy, and that's spread across the country in such a way now. It's Nice and crispy, it's got some nice floral notes to it. Almost like a little bit of thyme thing. All cas back in the dry hop, which is um, Czech hop. Has some really nice lemon notes to it. It's just really clean and easy drinking. We launched the Mixed Firm program with, uh, with some gusto this year, finally. For a long time, it was just me putting wine barrels in back and uh, Forgetting about him. <laughs> well, not forgetting about him, but anyways, we, we brought Matt on board, or Matt Waddell, um, and he's now head of mixed culture fermentation. He's been doing an incredible job. Last July, uh, we ordered these first five that we have right here from Fooder Crafters uh, and quickly filled those up by the end of the summer. A couple weeks ago, we actually just became uh, owners of five new uh, 60 barrel fooders that have a really awesome lineage to them. The big 60s are gonna kind of be the main brute of just producing golden sour kind of base beer on kind of different levels of acidity, um, on funk factor. Um, and it's with these five that we're gonna be able to do a lot more kind of fun things to them. We had just emptied one of these fooders um, and put a Pilsner that was just freshly brewed into that to age for about three months uh, to get a little bit funky, a little bit uh, interesting, and then dry hopped in. So it really kind of took like the three pillars of this brewery into one beer. Everyone really loved it, especially everybody here where we were actually taking a couple cases back so we could drink it ourselves. Our first mixed culture sour is gonna be coming out soon and it's actually a collaboration we did with Barrel Theory. Murph and I crushed and squeezed 1,000 pounds of nectarines for it to age on. So it's a fooder fermented, whiskey barrel aged nectarine sour that's gonna be bottle conditioned. The suspense is killing me right now. Just wanna thank uh, uh, the Beer Dabbler for coming over and working with us here. Love work with you guys, big cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Fugazi might be Italian for fake, but this beer is the real deal. You can pick it up in liquor stores or you can head over to Blackstack's Tap Room in Midway St. Paul to pick up a crowler. Well, this episode might be all about St. Paul, 
Both Blackstack's Murphy Johnson and our featured musical performer for this episode, Mally, grew up on the other side of the river in Minneapolis. You might recognize Mally and his guest vocalist on this song, Abby Wolf. They've shared stages with some of the biggest artists in Minnesota hip hop like Dessa and Brother Ali. This song is gonna take you on a tropical vacation. It's called Flying High. Feels so good flying high. Flying high. Feels so good flying high. Feels so good flying high. Flying high. Feels so good flying high. Feels so good flying high. Never thought I'd see the sun again down on me. I look around and it's sweet. I'm grateful that I can breathe. I throw a two up for peace and those we lost in the street. Really hope they. Feel so good high. Hey yo, we fly different, ride different, vibe different. See me sign ceiling with my ribbons, fly filling, and my eyes vision. Define prism, I'ma die living until I'm. At high distance till forever, ain't no time ticking. The only cat that got one life, but he need nine women. I'm fine with it, ain't no beefing, I'm just trying to get it. Ain't talking money, talking joy until I'm. Oh Lord, I take your mind from prison, that fresh air is me. I made it my religion, you see the cloth, I'm cut from such a fine decision. Don't subscribe, the limits is why we all. I'm rolling too high Who the fuck is you guys Just know the shade won't shine All I'm needing in this world Is a couple dollars I'm done speeding Need a girl with some lower mileage Love certain It ain't no maybes in this baby See that love working And hate's ironic though When it's all because they love hurting I swear to God I never change I been the same person While I'm standing alone They racing to be the same version and cars that don't give you drive, chains that can't set you free, pills that make the pain worse in life. It gave me lemons, but I guess I needed less lime. And really, um, <laughs> they see me think it's easy, but I gotta say it's hard. And I make nothing if I stall, and I gotta fly, avoid the fall, do the right thing. That was a lesson that I got from my grandma. We cooking, boy, and watch them stall. Da 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 
Founded by a banking analyst and a former biology major who shared a passion for home brewing, Bad Weather Brewing has grown into a destination along St. Paul's West 7th thanks to a roster of beer that balances tradition and creativity. Oh, Dabblers, didn't see you there. I'm Joe Giamberto, one of the owners here at Bad Weather in St. Paul. Uh, thanks for being a part of the uh, Dabbler in a Box season two. Like many folks at, uh, at the brewery, longtime home brewer, um, kind of fell in love with the hobby. Got a job at Northern Brewer, somehow tricked those folks into hiring me. We helped open up the Minneapolis store, RIP to that, that shop. From there, my grandma sent me a newspaper clipping that a brewery in Minnetonka was opening up. Uh, that ended up being Lucid Brewing. Uh, so me and my business partner reached out to those folks. Uh, they were looking for breweries to kind of share in a collaboration brewery. Basically, we share a space, we have our own brands. And we did that in 2013, selling bottles and kegs. Um, a couple of years later, we tricked banks and investors into get, helping us get this tap room open here in St. Paul. When we started off, uh, we wanted to do kind of fun, different beers, beers that were a little twist on a style. We had a, a blonde ale that was brewed with rose hips. We had a rye pale ale. Um, our IPA was a red IPA. We had a double brown ale. Uh, most of those beers we actually still have today. Since having the taproom open, we were able to add the Hopkermancer. That's our year-round IPA. And with the uh, addition of our head brewer, Andy Rulin, we've been brewing a lot of fun uh, traditional styles of beers, too. Our Munich Hellas is a beer that we started brewing when we opened up the taproom. I personally was not talented enough to brew this clean, traditional German lager. We couldn't do that until we brought in Andy Ruland, our, our head brewer. Beer styles I generally lean towards are lagers, German lagers. They're what I would like to drink at home. I find them the biggest challenge to make on the brew house. We've got here our Hellas Lager. I get a lot of uh, cracker malt notes, some floral hop aromas. Just a really nice, easy drinking uh, light beer for a summer day. Well, if you like this beer, we got a lot of fun beers at the tap room. We always try to keep a good rotating variety of high quality beers. I mean, right now we've got a, a British bitter with Earl Grey tea out, a raspberry sour just came out. Uh, we've got a, a damp beer. Uh, I, I don't know what the hell a damp beer is. What is a damp beer? Yep. I don't know. No, it's a, uh, damp beer is a, uh, you could think of it as a German style uh, steam beer, generally brewed with Hefeweizen yeast. We use our house Hefeweizen yeast, all malt, no wheat, and then has a nice, clove cinnamon character to it. Cheers everyone, hope you enjoyed the Munich Hellas. Thanks for grabbing the uh, dabbler in a box. Bad Weather's expanded patio is open for business right now and you can find their beer in a liquor store near you. While we love all the beers in this box equally, Clutch Brewing is a special place in our hearts because it's just a block away from our office. You might even see us there sometime having a beer during happy hour. We're going to head down there to learn more about Phil's Pills. Hey Dabblers, welcome to uh, Clutch Brewing Company. My name is Jordan, I'm one of the owners and brewers here. We are located in the Keg and Case Market, which is in the historic Schmidt Brewery Complex in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, Clutch Brewing Company started in the garage, uh, brewing between a bunch of close friends. Uh, we'd been home brewing for about 10 years and eventually my business partner Max and I wanted to start our own business after working for several small businesses throughout our lives. We had started home brewing in about 2007 and we opened Clutch in September 2018. I've been friends with Max since about 6th grade. Uh, we grew up in the White Bear Lake area and we, uh, we started brewing in you know, our freshman year of college and just kept brewing more and more frequently. The name Clutch, uh, we both grew up in motor-oriented families. Our dads would always wrench on cars. Uh, we both had bikes growing up that we would uh, fix up, sell, get new bikes. So here at Clutch, we like to brew a variety of different beers. Um, we always want to provide something for, for everybody, but we particularly like a lot of smoked beers. Um, so you'll always see at least one smoked beer here. Right now we have our exhausted smoke black IPA, which is one of our mainstays, um, and that won't that won't ever go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, 
in the Dabbler in a Box Season 2 is our Phil's Pills, which we brewed with our good friend Phil Gagne, who was the last brewmaster at the Schmidt Brewery before it shut down in 2002. Phil's Pills is one of the uh, beers we're offering in liquor stores right now. We just started distribution. Uh, we're also doing the Narrows Amber, our Hypnotoad um, Hazy IPA. We've got our Straight 8 IPA, which is kind of our old standby. And then we've got our Out of Style Cream Ale as well. And uh, we were pretty excited to start doing this. Um, distribution was never really in the plans for us, but uh, it's really turned out well and people are really liking it. I love these cans too. Some fun things we have coming up here at the uh, end of September and into October. Uh, we are releasing our Smoked Meritzen called an Oktoberfest. Uh, it's kind of one of our anniversary beers, which is also our anniversary is on September 18th. We also, for that, will have a bottle release of our Russian Imperial Stout called the Russian Rhino. Uh, we have some aging in rum barrels right now and another aging in Basil Hayden whiskey barrels. For an anniversary party, uh, we usually combine Halloween and our anniversary into one bash because we are all Halloween buffs here at Clutch Brewing Company. So look forward to a Clutch anniversary patio party slash Halloween party with a costume contest and some new beer releases and we'll close out the season together. Thanks for checking out Dabbler in a Box Season 2. We really hope you enjoy the Phil's Pills and have a good one. Cheers. Cheers. Stop by Keg and Case Market and have a beer on their expanded patio with food trucks and clutch beer. And hey, wave hi to Phil if you see him out there. Thanks for joining us on a trip around our neighborhood for episode two of season two of Dabbler in a Box. We'll see you again for episode three. Here's one more song from Mally. I just wanna flow, uh, flow higher than my peers Get away from my kids, put a silence on my ears uh, Ego only thing I hear, go viral, go there Take it all and never share Rock the crowd for a year, tell lies with no fear That I'm great when I'm fair God kept me in the air, when I'm up, no prayer When I'm down, shed a tear Slept around like a player, pieces of me everywhere Thank God I ain't dead Names floating in my head, DNA in 20 bands, heartbroken and misled. Now they love you, how dead? Now you sitting in my chair, get the fuck out of here. Every industry affair, seeing fam you don't love, but you're still shaking hands. Uh, full of fire, won't stare in the mirror, unaware, so searching for repair. Uh, complicated in my lair, still removing every veil, honestly, it got me scared. And what I wanted from the start, now I'm questioning the passion in my heart. Is it real anymore? Is it real anymore? Is it real anymore? You know it don't matter no more. Is it lust? Is it love? Then you can't go wrong. And now we all won't shine, but it just ain't gold. It got me questioning my soul like, is it real anymore? You know it don't matter no more. Is it lust? Is it love? Then you can't go wrong. And now we all won't shine, but it just ain't gold. It got me questioning my soul. Like, is it real anymore? I used to wanna be like Mike Till I learned he ain't taking pictures with niggas Shit, we need to put a match to every pair But I know we got to walk somewhere Is it real anymore? To go broke to look rich And some tags from a store for a law I ain't preaching to you Once your idol don't rock it no more In a day, watch the value hit the floor You make it again You will never
never find yourself in somebody else What you need, what you need Cash, clothes, hoes, flows, all of that A little greed and lust with paper in the faces Why they love to see you bleed, uh Making felons out the youth Jail, sell them to produce Sipping Bellevue in the booth I'm numbing the day I'm giving you some levels of the truth Politicians, the devil's in a suit Is she real anymore? Full of sweet rebellion, uh Fly so high, her wings melting Whoa, drop it low, taking shots in your ass When I see you, girl, I still gotta ask Is it real anymore? Resembling my uncle in the face Not his heart, I ain't carrying his hate Now my mama said I drink too much But she proud, so I fill another cup Still celebrating with entertainment And ain't no friends Rise up, frown, fall down, grin Stand on it, cause the truth don't bend While these other motherfuckers gon' pretend Like they real anymore You know it don't matter no more is it lust? Is it love? Then you can't go wrong And now we all won't shine But it just ain't gold And got me questioning my soul like Is it real anymore? You know it don't matter no more Is it lust? Is it love? Then you can't go wrong And now we all won't shine But it just ain't gold And got me questioning my soul like Is it real anymore?